Josh, you're creating a product for a younger generation, full screen, you, you've just launched. Um, talk to me about this new consumer. What do they want? They want connection. They want community. I think when we talk about technology and, and, and what it's there for, it's to enable creators to create new types of stories, better stories, different types of stories. I, I, I do think that the storytelling is evolving. We've spent, mm -hmm. a lot of people in this room spent 20 years just trying to get movies onto mm -hmm. other size rectangles. And we've yeah. done a really good job of that. But now we're actually seeing, and YouTube has been a start with that, but I also think VR is a start, where we're actually seeing the fundamental nature of a story changing and, and the technology is driving that. But the technology is also driving how consumers experience that, how they create connections and community around that. And I think that's the well, big difference. They don't want the passive, you know, lean back experience. They want that sometimes, but they, they want to engage. They want to engage with the creators. They want to engage with the community of other fans. What Josh is describing, that's just another thing that people want to do, but it's not the only thing they're going to want to do, right? And so really, I think our biggest challenge here is, is the fragmentation of the audience, that there's so many more things that they can do now, you know, and that, and that goes far beyond, uh, you know, just, you know, audio, visual entertainment, you know, games, uh, how much time do people spend on their, on their social feeds every day, and, and so on and so forth. But also, by the way, the other thing I want to say is that people do want to sit down once in a while and watch a movie. Right. They do want to go to the theater and watch a movie. They do want to sit down with their family and watch a movie and, 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 and so on and so forth. Or, you know, you know I just you know, came back from, from uh, a trip to Asia last week and, and on the way home, Deadpool was, was on that plane and everybody was watching Deadpool. Right? I mean, it's like, so there is a time and place for everything. I think that's what I, that's what I would say. So what I don't like about it, when people are saying people will only do this and the younger generation only wants to do that. That's not true. And Anushka, you're, um, you'll seek fire. You're, you're another one of the demos here. You're, you're in the business of producing one minute videos or enabling people to produce one minute videos. So what's the one minute thing? Is that because people have short attention spans or it's just, it's just your, your brand? Yes, it is because people have a shorter attention span, but also uh, a one minute video, you can edit within 24 hours. Um, you shouldn't think, oh, two minute video then within 48 hours. No, it takes much longer. And the same goes for a three minute video. It's not 72, it's also much longer. One minute videos are doable within 24 hours. So the world is, you know, rapidly changing and everything. And so. does that depend to some extent on, on the medium people are watching? So they're more likely to watch a one minute video on their phone or on their iPad than they would on a large television? Absolutely. On their, you know, they can just ask their friends or family relatives and see like, hey, you got a minute? Just show it on your phone or show it on your laptop or whatsoever. And um, it's, it's much easier. For all these experiences, there's a place and time. Right, and I think a lot of these short things actually, they're not necessarily, you know, uh, there because people can't deal with a movie longer than a minute. We obviously all know that that's not the case. Uh, people sometimes sit through a three and a half hour movie. It's got to be a really good one. I, I grant you that. But, uh, but I think a lot of these, these, these new experiences that we're putting out there that actually, to your point, don't necessarily work in a traditional model, they're not necessarily consumed at 8 o'clock at night when you're at home, right? They're also consumed during the day.